Very good. Here's, uh, here's our report, 30 days later to the day. <laughs> All right, well, come in here. Come on in, take the chair over there. Huh? Good to see you. <clears throat> well, pleased to receive this and looking forward to reading it. I understand you have some milestones scheduled in there, so they're all laid out. Yes. Yeah. Until we start the flight again, we, we haven't put a flight date on it, but uh, we had to delay it some. It's going to be first quarter of 1988, and I'm, 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 I'm given them the signal that it better be early in the first quarter yeah, because we don't want it rather than late. I know that it's an election year, so well, it's not just the election; it's the election. September. Uh, well, congratulations. Well, thank you very much. Uh, now we have to make it more permanent. All right. That's right. right. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Look forward to working the working these gentlemen now. I'm going to work them hard. <laughs> All right. Okay.
<laughs> and we also hope to do that great board of July. And I think you know that I did. Liberty Weekend in New York is really something. Any of you might have been there. I know that you were aware of that. You couldn't help but feel a great sense of pride there and participating in the events surrounded by the 100th birthday. And uh, you gave me some great ideas for my own hunger. We got from the police there. When you in the helicopter, we'd be able coming down to the next place we were supposed to be to see the people in the streets. And there must have been no motor traffic because I mean the people in the streets down toward the waterfront, from wall to wall, right till sidewalks and roadway. But the police were saying that it was the strangest thing, that there just no incidents. There was nothing but good nature and friendliness and people being helpful and so forth. There was no pushing or crowding or getting mad at somebody else. The whole thing was a kind of a joyous you know, <laughs> i tell you, Mr. Fleming, when we were there and we tried to see the fireworks, we started out at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. We got pushed back five miles. <laughs> and we went home. We got home 1 o'clock in the morning. We had a great time. We never saw the fireworks. <laughs> now, we had $400 worth of tickets for Battery Park. <laughs> we, we would, I mean, we were uh, motoring. We were on a walk. I took a subwalk and back. I got on a walk and back. We were getting pushed. How did the motor go first class? So so I got, I got some. <laughs> <laughs> right. I, want to go first class, so. <laughs> I felt like I felt like my mother and father when they came. Home. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, they had to have gotten farther than you did. <laughs> Well, we've got a full agenda, so let's get started. <laughs> you know, the Supreme Court's decision two weeks ago brings the focus of compliance with the deficit reduction targets, Graham and Rudman Holling, back to the Congress. I believe the deficit targets were, were and are a promise to the American people by their government to bring down the budget deficit. And I have to urge the Congress to make good on that, on that pledge. I hope we we'll back quickly to reaffirm the sequestration order of March for 1986. Those cuts of nearly $12 billion have already been absorbed, so there's no reason for delay. The elimination of the Comptroller General's role in the sequester process should change a little, except that now Congress will have to make some difficult votes. Then we we'll all elected to the American people to do just that. I think we must redeem our pledge on over the deficit. Now, I'm going to ask Bob G. Pins, how to go first, and then <laughs> to comment on what you expect Congress will do next to let the court's action. Mr. President, Bob Rich. Mr. Mr. Rich. Oh, there. Good to see you, sir. Good to see you. Can I introduce my wife, Kathleen. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. I have a family who are very anxious to meet you, Mr. President. This is John Rich. Hello, Hello there. Nice to see you. My daughter, nice Kathy, there. Her husband. Mr. President. Nice to see you. Mr. President. Mr. President. Mr. President. Mr. President. Hello, Peace Corps, right there. Sir, I'm General Director. Yes. Former boss. Thank you. Going over there. Let's go here. Good to have you. Thank you. Good to have 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 you. Good to Mr. Robert E. Rich, for exemplary performance of duty as Deputy Director of the National Security Agency and the distinguished cryptologic career of 36 years with the National Security Agency. Mr. Rich, through his unique leadership and management skills and unblemished personal integrity, is recognized as one of the key individuals instrumental in shaping the national cryptologic effort into the dynamic and sophisticated system it has become today. His personal efforts in structuring the information base available to national decision makers in dealing with the Achille Lauro, KAL 007, TWA Flight 840, 
and Libyan terrorism incidents is testimony to its significant contributions. Mr. Rich's superior achievements, which are recognized at all levels of government, deserve the highest recognition for his meritorious service to the nation and merit the award of the National Security Medal.